I thought I'd give an update on the spotted tiger shovel nose, coruscans, brachyplatystoma, sorry, sorry, pseudo, pseudoplatystoma coruscans, or coruscans, however you say that. If you remember, we had some problems at the beginning, made us, this fish gave us quite a few worries. This is a gift uh, from my friend Chase. Um, very expensive fish, brought in by Predatory Fins. Anyhow, he, he's been doing quite well since then. Added quite a few inches, probably 3-4 inches to the length. And a lot of mass. He's probably about twice or three times, maybe four times bigger by weight than when it came to us a short while ago. I have to check the date. Off the top of my head I want to say three months or so. Yeah, yeah, he came to us during Christmas and New Year and today is in mid-April. So four, four and a half months later His spotting has been changing slowly. His head is quite a bit became quite a bit bigger. So he's a uh, much thicker body right now. If you look at him from this angle, you'll appreciate that his thickness better. Once in a while, he still has tattered ends of his caudal fin and sometimes the dorsal but for the most part nobody bothers him in this tank I think it's probably the the work of the clown knife because sometimes he, they both sit in the same cave and the clown knife he's, he's a poor sharer nobody else would really bother him the tigerness are too small and if anything, he he had an acute reaction to the tigerness at first. He didn't like them. When we moved in the four the four bigger uh, tigs from the other tank in here, the one smaller one has always been here, and the spotted tiger shovel nose was okay with the small one. But as soon as the big ones came over, he was giving them bites and. Uh, trouble. Not enough to separate because it subsided pretty, pretty quickly, but at the beginning it, I was surprised to see so much uh, dislike from from this fish towards the tigs. I fed them yesterday so they're pretty pretty full. I feed this tank uh, every other day or so. He usually picks out on his uh, on the mullet pieces. So far ignored all the pellets I gave I give to this tank. Uh, I don't think arowana would bother him or the peacock bass or the two pleco. So that's the roster of this tank. Five tigs, three arowana two pleco, one clown knife, five peacock bass. As you know the uh, African lungfish move, moved into the lungfish tank, used to be here also. Anyhow, just wanted to give a quick update on this guy and he's doing pretty good. The span of this uh, this wall is 22 inches from glass to glass. So I'd say there's probably three inches here, and about five inches there. So minus eight. 22 minus eight, so he sh should be about. 14, 15 inches. And 
I'm gonna just sit there. He usually sits around. I don't know if there's not enough space for him to swim around, or maybe he does it at night. Or maybe the tank mates don't like his moving around, so he's usually... Every time I see him, he just sits around like that. But again, I, I don't know what's happening in the dead of the night. So if we go back to the growth rate, we got him at about 11 inches. So if he's 15 now, it's about 6 inches of growth. I'm sorry, 11 minus for 15, 4 inches of growth in 4 months. It's pretty good for a start, an inch a month. As I said, we, we had problems for the first a month or longer. Not feeding or feeding very little. So that month probably doesn't even count. Let's say he put on the four inches in uh, in three months. So that's an inch and a quarter a month. Not too bad.